Um, I thought since you were interested in the chickens, I would give you a little tour of my coop. So here we go. This is the coop that Jeremiah and I made. <clears throat> we got some of the things as reclaimed good, like this, the gate was from somebody's old garden fence and most of the lumber. And the roof is like old tin that people didn't want. We have this uh, brick foundation that was also stuff people didn't want. So, going in, this is Echo. She's a frizzled large cochin. And she lays a little round egg like this. So she's like really big and her egg's not, oh! <laughs> Give me that back. Not as big as what you find in the grocery store. And it's almost perfectly round. And it didn't break. Awesome. So this one's Tony. She's my barred rock. And she's not from show lines. The rest of them are like show birds. And she, she lays this regular brown egg and she lays like crazy. She laid all through the winter. This girl here. So see her feathers, how they're a big mess? She didn't molt all winter because she was just way too busy. She was laying eggs. Everybody else took a break, but not her. This one here is an Orpington and she's shy. She, she was raised at a farm. She lays this egg that compared with Tony's egg is kind of white, almost pinkish. And for her size, she's she's huge. Her egg's just a normal size, like maybe a medium egg from a grocery store. So then we have this egg that's small, and it comes from this bird here. She's an Americana. Stop pecking the eggs, guy. Her name is Nini, and see how she has a muff around her. Somebody pecked it out, but it's growing back. And she has these blue legs and her ears, which we can't really see, are also blue. She lays this nice green egg. And then we have this egg, which comes from a bird that's outside somewhere. She's missing. Oh, there she is. Well, let me show you the other side of the coop since we're done with everybody else's egg. So here's this brown egg. It's like dark brown and earlier in the season she would lay an egg that was closer to this color here and not quite so speckly but she's a couple of years old and later in the season so her eggs are lighter. So that's my covered part of my coop. It's five by five and it's about 12 feet deep from the front corner if you include the little house as well. And then going around, here's the chicken that laid that dark brown egg. She's a Moran. And she's called a black copper moran because she should have a little ring around her neck of copper colored feathers, but she's all black. She's got these feathers on her leg. She's super pretty. And then we have Carrot, who's on hormone therapy because he is genetically a boy, but we're working on making him more like a girl. He's a, also an Americana, like the one that laid the green egg, this girl. But he's mixed with a Rhode Island Red, who lay great eggs. If you, if you find Rhode Island Red chicks, that would be great. This is an old English game bantam pooping. 
Her name is Fluffy Feather. She's Una's favorite creature in the world. And her friend Little Feather, who's a modern game bantam and looks like a crow, doesn't look anything like a chicken. And I think Fluffy Feather's a little sick. But anyway, my my uncovered run is oops, out of control. It's probably 20 feet long, and I have this um, privacy screen up because the neighbor's dog is really excited about my chickens, and so that way he's not quite so excited. 